Welcome to the fifth training movie in the Coral Finder Toolkit training movie series. In the previous movie, we introduced the Coral Finder key groups using the branching key group as an example. In this movie, we will demonstrate the meandering key group while focusing on some new terms and tips for how to work smart. The first thing to note about the meandering key group is that it focuses on the apparent surface texture of a coral colony. By comparison, the branching key group worked with the growth form of the colony. It doesn't matter that they are different approaches. The Coral Finder's design strives to use practical features that you can see in the field. So the meandering texture can apply to any growth form. Note that the Coral Finder stresses this in the text. Think of key groups as concepts of convenience that we use to help make coral identification easier to learn. In that sense, they don't reflect any deep evolutionary relationships in the way that scientific classification attempts to do. My advice is to treat key groups as a quick and dirty way to get into the right ballpark. If you don't see a promising lead, it's okay to change your mind and go back and try something else. It's easy and it doesn't hurt. The next part of the approach is to recognize the type of coralite wall shown by your coral. They are the same terms we have already met in the glossary and earlier movies. To give you a feel, let's look at some examples of meandering coralites with separate walls. Here we have a coral with weakly meandering coralites. Note the short valleys and separated coralite walls. In this coral, Lobophilia, these coralites are actually long stalk tubes gathered very close together. Now we can see a coral with widely separated walls. Look closely at this image. It is very easy to swim past this beautiful colony with its polyps extended and not know it had coralites with separated walls. You can see why familiarity and time underwater plays an important role in getting good at coral identification. The alternative to separate walls in the Coral Finder logic is common or indistinct walls. Here's a tip. Review the second movie where we showed that coralites can live in groups in shallow valleys and that the colony surface can have bumps and ridges that are not tied to a coralite. Let's see some examples. Valleys formed by common walls can be long or short, narrow or wide. Keep your thinking in the real world by always checking the true scale box. Note also that colour is rarely useful in coral identification. Keep your focus on the wall structure, scale and the character description on the right hand side. Here are some examples where the meandering appearance is caused by ridges on the colony surface. The coralites themselves may have indistinct or absent walls. Remember, the purpose of this is just to recognize the meander wall state so you can move on to a lookalike page. Practice makes perfect. Check the true scale in this diagram. These coralites are tiny, and the big close up images can be very seductive, leading to mistakes if you do not check the scale. Sometimes the polyp's tissues or tentacles can obscure the detail you need to see. There are only a few genera that have coralites as small as this Samacora. Check the scale again. Texture combined with scale can be very informative. Note how subtle the meanders are in this coral. Learn to recognize the look. Another coral with very small, granular, sugary looking coralites. Would you have recognized the meanders in this colony at first glance? Again, experience is important and will help you to recognize the look and feel of what the coral finder means by meandering. So let's review the coral finder's three-step ID process. Step one, choose a key group. Clearly, there is a meandering texture on the colony surface. So let's give that a try. Step two, Choose a lookalike page. The walls are common, and using the scale bar on the Coral Finder's inside back page, we know that the valleys are greater than 10 millimeters in diameter. 
Finally, scan the lookalike page, comparing and contrasting the options. Hmm, some filia looks good. Now it's time for confirmation. When working with lookalike pages, it also helps to use a simple three-step checklist like we did before. Step 1. Compare and contrast the genera closely. Learn to think and see the differences between corals using the same terms we met in the glossary. Step 2. Check the scale is correct and that you haven't been seduced by the big close-up pictures. Step 3. Read and confirm the character description. Here's a tip. While you are learning, it is better to come home with several genus names to follow up rather than shoehorning a coral into a name based on your limited experience of reefs. After the dive, you can compare your field options with the ID resources at the Coral Hub, or you can use the handy page reference provided to look it up in Corals of the World. But what do you do if you can't find a good candidate using the Coral Finder? Here are some options. Try another key group. Suppose you just can't see a close candidate. Then try the key page again and look for an alternative key group. It's very quick, it doesn't hurt a bit, and it's a great way to learn. Alternatively, use the Coral Finder index page to jump around to other key groups. Suppose you think you have the right coral, but just the wrong growth form. Just use the index page to locate other examples of that genus. It's a great way to learn what a genus and its species can do. Finally, consult the comments section. Some rare, unusual and regional coral genera have been omitted from the Coral Finder to make it a better teaching tool. You'll find them suggested in the comments section with a link to further resources. When you reach this level, you are starting to note your corals. And that's it. That's all you need to know to get serious about learning hard coral identification. Using your coral finder and the three-step processes I've outlined, most coral genera will just fall in your lap. In the next movie, I'm going to show you some really cool tips and tricks. See you there.